My name is Barbara Pope. I'm the owner of the White Front Cafe of Rosedale, Mississippi. It wasn't my idea at all to start cooking tamales. My brother passed away in 2004. They asked me to keep the place open. His customers stayed with me, and this is what I do from Tuesday through Saturday. I grew up in the rural area out in the country. My father moved to was Armstrong Plantation. So on third nights, my parents and their friends had to watch boxing and wrestling. They would bring their children, and we had a huge yard, and we just played all out in the yard while they would watch. I enjoyed it, you know, and everybody like helped each other. Back then, there was a man named Hoops. He made tamales. Hoops was blind, but you couldn't cheat him. He knew when you gave him a five, he knew when you gave him a 10. You couldn't cheat him. His family came and got him. So that's when no tamales were made in Rosedale. What happened, my brother, when he started making the tamales, he changed the recipe. And then when he gave it to me, he told me that once I learned how to make tamales, to change the recipe so it could be mine. And that's what I did. When he died in 2004, he had made tamales for over 40 years. You have to love it. I love it because it's a part of me. And I love people. So whatever I do, I tell everybody that I make my tamales with love. But I was here during the civil rights movement. I guess they started for like 64, 65. And there were some here. They call them freedom riders. And they got the people registered to vote. When the first year that they came here and they marched all around the courthouse, Frank Davis, he was the director of the Head Start program. And he had given me this telephone number to call this attorney if they had gotten arrested. But I wanted to march too. So I gave the number to someone else to call. Once they had told everybody to disperse, but I didn't hear them when they said disperse, so I got arrested too. We had a jail here in Rosedale. We all went to jail. My father came and got me. There were about two or three others released that night. But all the rest of them, they took them all to parchment. My mother passed away in 2013, and she voted every year. Even when she got to the point that she couldn't walk up those courthouse steps, they came outside because she remembered what she went through and what others went through for her to vote. Will you always keep a part of the cafe in your heart? I told you everything I do, I do it with love. So. It's not about making a lot of money, but you have the heart to do this. I put love in everything I do, 100%.